like I want you If you need me Like I need you Suddenly I find You're always on my mind You've turned my life around Upside down I wanna be with you Wait a moment longer I wanna be with you This feeling's getting stronger I want to be with you I know this is the right time I wanna be with you More than noon and night time What do we do now? I don't know. All I know is I'm exhausted. And I don't want us living apart anymore. So if you want to move back into the apartment, that'd be okay. Yes, please. Um, I was thinking about going down to ATT today. Give Jack a hand. Hello? Is anyone out there? Yes, we heard. I'm sure Steve will appreciate the help. Is there something wrong with helping street kids now? Morning, everybody. Danny, I wouldn't bother. I mean, this place is like a graveyard. Make sure you leave anything that isn't destroyed. If it ain't broke. There's no point in us wasting time fixing it. Still, we want to make sure we're doing the job right, don't we? Of course, I'm just saying, don't make our lives any harder than they need to be. Let's look sharp. Hey, Jack, Bob, how's it going? Find any hidden treasure? As if we'd tell you. Find his keepers, right, Jack? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, mate. I'm glad to see you hard at it. We need everything on schedule for Truscott's visit tomorrow. You know, if he sees everything running like clockwork, it'll work in our favour. Oh, morning, all. Anything I can do to help? Doing a good job of boosting staff morale. Uh, I mean, there must be plenty of little jobs for me to do. I mean, we've got to get the place up and running in a couple of weeks, don't we? Well, I'll keep you informed. Right now, I have to go and see a man about some money. Well, keep up the good work. Good luck, mate. You deserve it. Thanks, Bob. <sighs> what do you reckon, mate? Time for smoko? Already? Not if you don't want it, son. It's just that we've only just started. Well, you keep at it, mate. Not exactly what I call a healthy breakfast. Well, what's wrong with milk? Doesn't cancel out the bickies. Hey, <laughs> 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 Samson. You're gonna get a sprung, mate. You're gonna have to take it on the lamb, cat. It's getting too hot around there. We're gonna have to think of somewhere we can hatch us out there. Oh, come on, cat. Eat your biggie. <sighs> Hurry up, man. Mum will be out soon.
Hello, Danny's Fantasy Hotline. Um, hi, it's Sherry. Can I speak to your mum? Yeah, hang on. Mum, it's for you! Eve Simmons. Hi, it's me. Listen, um, I don't think I can make it into work today. That's all right. Um, just let Maggie know when you're feeling all right. Hello? Um, yeah, frog in my throat. Okay, um, I'll give you a call. See ya. Well, why don't you have a talk to your accountant and I'll give you a call back. Uh, day after tomorrow? G'day, Tazza. Uh, hello, Hugo. Great. Uh, thanks for your time, Mr Lloyd. Appreciate it. You should have been a salesman. Yeah, you too, mate. So is that Truscott guy on the sign outside pulled out or what? Don't even think that. Why are you still ringing around for money or isn't he the Truscott who owns the computer business? No, it's him. It's not like he's going to bankroll us for everything we need, is it? Is uh, Bob around? Morning tea, and Jack's gone to find a wheelbarrow, so the idiot is left doing the dirty work. <laughs> Looks like we'll need another four Truscots just to cover the laundry bills. Mm. Well, I've got a duck upstairs, so uh, feel free to hop in. You seen Fee today? Why? She was working and my duck me head in. Do you really like her heaps? What's it to you? She's a friend and I care about her. Yeah, I like her heaps. Why? I don't know. Why do you like the beanstalk? Don't call him that. I'm sorry. Why do you like Mr. McCann? No, I'm serious. I mean, why would a guy like you go for a girl from the country like Fee? Because I can put one over on her. That's what you wanted to hear, isn't it? No, Hugo. I wanted to hear the truth. But I suppose I'm an idiot for expecting that from you. I just like her, okay? She's not full of it like some chicks. We work well together. And she knows a stud when she sees one. You're right. I need to be able to say to Truscott tomorrow whether ATT is staying here or if we need to find somewhere else. Look, I've got Bob and Jack cleaning up down there. Isn't that enough? No, mate, it's not. You were meant to give me a decision two weeks ago. At the moment, getting Kate and Eve in the same rooms a big ass, trying to get them to agree on renewing your lease would be like risking civilization as we know it. Well, except I'm partly to blame, but that doesn't help the kids. I mean, how am I supposed to raise funds for ATT if I can't even confirm the venue? All right, all right, I'll go and see Eve one more time and try and sort something. You reckon she'll listen to you? <laughs> Look, I know this is the last thing you want to talk about, but we've got to get it sorted out. Well, I suppose whatever it is, we better get it sorted out. Well, believe me, I get no joy from being the middleman in all this. Oh, get to the point, Paul. Steve's been in my ear again. He wants to know what we've decided about the lease. Well, that's up to you and Kate. You know what I've decided. The last time we tried to sit down and have a discussion about this, you and Kate got fairly sidetracked, remember? Look, if you want to organise another meeting, my diary's at the office. Call me when I'm there and we'll make a date. Well, the thing he wants to know is, will you change your mind? Well, has something happened that I should have? Look, he's busting a gut down there. The least we can give him is an answer. Since when have you been his best friend? I'm just giving him his chew, And you all. don't think he's already had that? We need the rental income. We will find it somewhere else, Paul. Look, you know how long that space was empty before... I don't know why we are discussing this. I mean, I wish the refuge well. I mean, I hope they find enough money to carry on, but I don't want it here. Now, if you want a unanimous decision, then I'm sorry, Paul, I can't give it to you. OK, look, I'm not... You know, I really your... get sick and tired of always having to play the big bad witch. I mean, why can't you just respect the way I feel and leave it alone? Steve wanted me to ask about the lease again. Oh, how long is this going to go on for? You tell me. OK, she was engaged. She had a hard time, but life goes on. And one of the facts of life is we need Steve's rent for cash flow. If you get any bright ideas about how to change your mind, give me a yell. I'll be in my office trying to find a rusty razor blade. Ali's on 10 for a shot at a trip to the 1999 Grammy Awards in LA. Taking off with Air New Zealand and staying at Hyatt West Hollywood. Plus, there are five Nintendo 64 packs to be won. Only during the Arias.
what a great job. You get to go to all the concerts, shows, sporting events and uh, bushfires. You meet lots of interesting people, although they're not always at their best. Oh, you have to do it in your own time, in all weathers. And there is one other thing, you don't get paid. So why would anyone do a job like that? To save lives. There are many ways you can help. To find out how, call now. Do you need cash? Happy Hawkers are here to help. We'll lend you the cash. Just bring us your goods of value, anything from jewellery to guitars, TVs, VCRs and lots more. Happy Hawkers, the new generation for cash loans. Bondi Beach and King's Cross. Nick down to Ted's camera stores for knockout deals on all Nikon products in October. Like a bonus camera to keep or to give with the purchase of a Nikon Coolpix 900 digital camera, any Nikon film scanner or any of these Nikon Zoom compacts. And if those deals don't put you on the canvas, we'll give you a knockout $100 credit voucher with every Nikon F60 with Nikon's 35 to 80 zoom lens. So Nick down to Ted's now for a Nikon Noctober knockout deal. Find us under T in the white pages. This kind of first aid experience has helped design this first aid course. The fees from every course help to support St John volunteers and every course would help you save a life. All the ads which appear on TV pay for the programs we like to watch. However, if you find an ad overtly sexist oh, no, you or in some way offensive or just plain violent you can bring it to the attention of the Advertising Standards Board. As the advertising industry's watchdog, this board helps maintain standards in advertising. So, if you have a complaint, just write to the Advertising Standards Board. The Panel, 9.30 Wednesday. I'm making a coffee. Do you want one? That'd be great, but I've really got to get back. I just came to borrow this. Ours is busted. Is that okay? Sure, I won't be uh, using it anytime soon. Okay. Oh, Kate, uh, I'm sorry that you had to walk in on that before. Better out than in. I, um... I think I might be coming down with Cherie's flu. Well, that'll make anyone touchy. Look, I've really got to get back. Yeah. If your pair are going to look, the least you can do is throw money. What's your story? Once upon a time, there was a really bossy blonde bean store. Very funny, Hugo. Nah, I mean it, man. You've only just got here. And now I'm leaving. What am I supposed to do? Work harder till I get back. Well, which will be when? When I've finished what I've got to do. Well, I thought you were supposed to be doing this. Yeah, I'm positive Steve said something about community service. You know, if you pair are practicing and being old, so I've got to tell you, there is a way that is much more fun. Oh, get Steve's gonna spew. With both you and Bob gone, there's no way we're gonna be on schedule when Truscott lobs in tomorrow. Then Truscott's going to be disappointed, isn't he? Bye-bye. <sighs> what a jerk! Oh, he and Bob ought to go halves in an iron lung. Be about the only way they'd ever work. <sighs> no way. Oh, come on, Sheree. I can't keep him at home. Mum's allergic to cats. Yeah? Yeah, when she was pregnant with me, she couldn't go within 20 metres of one without having a sneezing fit. Used to make an early chuck. <laughs> well, why didn't you think of that before you adopted him? Because I found him in the drain. So what do you reckon? Look, even if I wanted him, this building's a cat for his own. Wouldn't be a bad life, though, being a moggy. No future, no past. No adults to nag you to death. Mm. No people to talk to, no telephones, no having to go to work, no explaining things. No one gives a stuff air cool you are. Someone to always pat you. Well, that's why they make really good friends. Hey, Samson. I'm sorry, Danny. You've still got a kitten on your hands. Um, 
What do you need my address for? Is it a problem? Oh, it's just I might be moving soon. I've been staying with friends. I put it down anyway. Okay, thanks, mate. We'll be in touch. I swear. <clears throat> um, the last thing I want to be is a suck. But I really need this gig. Like, really, really. Tell me why. I've been making ends meet now for a while without a job. It's not easy, and it's not the way I want to go. What I want is my, like a full-time gig, a place to live, and being able to pay my own way. Now, I don't mind how dirty I get, and I don't mind how hard I have to work. Just give me a chance, and I'll show you that I can do it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. You want to work a couple of paid shifts and make me believe that? You bet. Okay. You're on trial. <laughs> cool. Music to flash your ears by, I'm having a bit of a bummer. <laughs> know the feeling. Some Chinese? Yeah, come in. It all happened more than 30 years ago, but I remember it as though it was just yesterday. <laughs> It was 1967. It was a summer of love. But somehow, someone forgot to tell these guys. We're doing tough against the favorites, Georgia Tech, in their first ever Orange Bowl. In the first quarter, it seemed like Georgia Tech had all the answers. My teammates, they were blocking their hearts out, but it seemed like nothing was working. We did everything we could to try and lift them. By the end of the first quarter, me and just about everybody else in the place never gave them a chance. All the Gators are not looking good. The problem for the Gators was that they expended so much energy early in the game that they had none left for the end. So we devised a drink of carbohydrate and electrolytes that speeds into the system and supplies everything they need for energy production. Naturally, we named it Gatorade. Whatever these guys came up with worked. Because when the Gators came out the second half, they were a different team. Well, folks, I figured the Gators coach had some stern words to say to his players because they're playing the third quarter as if their life depended on it. In the second half, our guys seemed to get more tired, but those Gators, they just kept on coming. We got a whole football game here, folks. These are Gators we have not seen before. They are the final nail in Georgia Tech's coffin came when Larry Smith set an orange bowl record by running 94 yards for a Gator touchdown. So the Gators, with a little help from the doctors from the University of Florida, won the 1967 Orange Bowl for the first time ever. After the game, Georgia Tech's coach Bobby Dodd said to me, we didn't have Gatorade. That made the difference. I believe that then, and I still believe that to this day. So, you thought you'd come over just to see how I was? <laughs> Is that too weird? Yeah, a bit, but it's okay. Well, you're sounding a lot better. Ta. Looking better, too. This isn't leading up to me getting the flick because I'm not cook enough to be at home, is it? Well, 
we all got the flick for taking the day off when things got a bit much, then there wouldn't be many of us left in employment, would there? So it's cool I didn't front? I didn't myself today. How come? You first. Did you know that there's only 8,760 hours in a year? You know, you kind of figured there'll be more, and, and when you've maybe only got a couple of years left, going to work for nine hours just seems too hard to hack. Does that sound too wussy? No. Not at all. Nice of you to drop in, mate. I must remember to mention it to your community service officer. Give me a break. I have to go, OK? Where? To see a man about a job. Now, Hugo, it's up to you whether or not this works. Look, I'm here for the rest of the day, OK? Yeah, glad to hear it. How's it been going? Oh, as long as a wet week. I've been working on my own most of the morning. Come on, mate. I expected you to be a bit further ahead than this. Well, I can't do it all on the same. Look, is it okay if I go grab some lunch? Wasn't that up to Bob? Uh, he said we should go just before he left. Yeah, okay, away you go then. Beauty <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hugo. Don't let me down this afternoon, all right? There's a lot riding on tomorrow. With the trust club, dude. Yeah, he's the money man. What time's his chopper landing? I don't know. Could be him now. So he'd ring me back. <laughs> Steve Giordano? Yeah, just... Sorry, hang on one second. Hugo? Yeah? Close the door on your way out. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm back. It really does your head in. You just get a cold, and that's all it is. But you can't help thinking, is this full on AIDS kicking in or what? Whenever I have anything difficult to deal with, I usually just bury myself in my work. Mm. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, tell me about it. I used to figure, as long as I don't get tested, I'll be okay. How long did you wait? <sighs> Months. I knew I must have been infected. See, the guy I was seeing at the time had it. But I just didn't have the guts to. Stupid, huh? Yeah. Guess it is. <laughs> That's me. No, I, I, I didn't mean that you were stupid. I, th I meant that people are stupid. All of us. You know, it's like I let my brain trick me. Lucky Ruben has for me to get tested. True. But then there are some people who'd rather never know. Sometimes all the medication in the world can't change anything. Hey, are you, are you trying to bring me down or what? Oh, sorry, Shri. No, no, you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So how come you're wagging? Uh, because I'm the boss and I'm allowed. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> More noodles? Hi. Hi. You don't let ears, do you? Last seen scaring sisters and ex-husbands this morning. Where'd you go? I couldn't stay. We were flat out downstairs. Lucky you. Yeah, maybe. I just got the impression that for the first time she really wanted to open up. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? Oh, no, nothing. It was just a feeling. Probably a sister thing. I don't know. Telling you what? That she needed to talk, that we needed to talk. Mm. Yes, Paul, I know how much you love and respect female intuition. Yeah, like I love and respect the tax department. Who do you think she's serious, dear? I don't know, it's been so frustrating, I can only guess. I think I'll draw the paper again. Getting wet. 
You know, I wasn't deliberately stirring before about helping at ATT. That's okay. I know, I know it must be hard for you seeing me hanging out with Steve, but it's got nothing to do with you guys. I just want to help him get the place back together. I've just been to Cherie's. She was talking about how scared she was about having a test for HIV. It's funny how you think you know somebody, but you don't really, and then suddenly they, they say something and it just puts you right inside their head. She's going to be okay. Sure, yeah, she's fine. She's going to be fine. see Australia's hottest music acts under the one roof, then tune in 8.30 tonight for the 12th Annual Aria Music Award with live performances by Regurgitator, The Whitlam, Bachelor Girl, and nominated for nine awards, Natalie and Provia. Join special guests Julian Menno, Savage Garden, and Alex Dimitriadis when Paul McDermott hosts the 12th Annual Aria Music Awards. 8.30 tonight, exclusive to 10. It's the $1 million Rima Shoes Super Deal. Buy one pair, get one free. Ladies' leather shoes, all sizes $15. Buy one pair, get one free. Ladies' offer shoes, black, brown and navy, all sizes $25. Buy one pair, get one free. Don't pay for the name sports shoes, all sizes $30. Buy one pair, get one free. Leather trendy men's shoes, all sizes $45. Buy one pair, get one free. Trendy ladies' chunky shoes, black and brown, all sizes $25. Buy one pair, get one free. Rima Shoes, open seven days, Roselands, Auburn and Alexandria. Hey man, you need an advanced hair check. A what? Yeah, find out whether or not you have a hair loss problem. And if you do, can it be treated with advanced hair's revolutionary new laser therapy? Or replaced strand by strand? Advanced hair! Yeah, yeah! Hey, you took my advice. Yeah, yeah. Don't wait till it's too late. Call Advanced Hair Studio now for your hair check. 1-800-800-500. Not so long ago, my Harold got pay TV. The men who installed it were just lovely. They even climbed up on the roof and got rid of our old aerial. But we didn't like pay TV much, so we changed back. Only to discover that we were stuck. No aerial, no picture, you see. But then, there's nothing my Harold can't fix. Contrary to popular opinion, the ocean's greatest killer is not the great white. The ocean's greatest killer is man. Please, make a difference. Call today. See 